Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you fully responsive bento box in Figma. So let's go. Before we start, I want to let you know that if you want to download the Figma file, I have given a link in the description. You can check that out. How to create a responsive bento box grid layout in Figma. So let's start. This is the box I have created already. This is the entire section with three rows. This is the first row, this is second row, and this is third row. You can see the behavior. If you go just ahead and resize the box, you can see it is perfectly responsive. And I'm going to use this to explain how to create this and how it works. You can see I have shrinked the frame for a very small bit and it is fully responsive for any width size. So I'm sure in this video you will learn every minute a new thing. So keep watching till the end. These are the images I'm going to use. When we are designing and building responsive components or layout in Figma, it's always good to know what we are going to achieve before we try to do it or else we are going to be convoluted with all the features. Let's create a frame and make it auto layout using shift A or from right hand side. Let's set the spacing 20, left and right padding 20 and top and bottom padding also 20. I will make the width to a fixed size for now. And direction will be vertical. Let's create one more frame inside this box and make it auto layout. Inner frame will have a lesser width size by 40 pixels because we have given the padding size of 20 pixel each side. Let's give it a stroke so that we can easily see what is happening and set the radius value to 40. Now I will create one more frame inside this uh, inner frame and uh, give it a stroke and radius value of 40 make it auto layout and set the padding to 0 duplicate the frame two times so there will be three frames inside the second frame i will set all three frames to fill container actually i should give them a name so that uh, we do not get confused So this will be row 1 and this card 1, card 2, card 3. I will select the row 1 and duplicate it 2 times. So there will be 3 rows total. Let's hide the stroke of rows and uh, I need to fix the spacing between cards also padding. So this is all set. Now I have to fill the images. These are the images I'm going to fill. We can see images are not filled properly. So we need to select one by one each image and make it fill container. So 
second row will have four cards that's why i duplicated one frame and filled the image So now all images have been filled properly. I'm going to hide the stroke of the cards. Now I need to fix the size of some cards. Like in the second row, the first card size you need to be reduced. And also make sure all cards are in the center. I'm trying to match the width. Now select the first row and make it fill container. I will work on each row one by one. I have made the first card with the size to a fixed value. Actually I am following the box which I had shown you in the beginning. So according to that first card will be unchanged when reduce the size and second and third card will shrink when I will reduce the frame size. So. Second and third card will be fill container width wise. Let's go to second row. So now first card will have a fixed width and rest of all cards will have a fill container. The same way go to third row and make it fill container. I forgot to second row to make the fill container. Okay. In the third row, first card will have a fill container. And second card will have a fixed width. And third row, third card will have a fill container. Now it's time to see if it is working or not. Resize the frame and we'll see. Wow, it is working. Yes, here you can see first card of first and second row and second card of the third row remain unchanged when we reduce the frame size because I have set them to not change when we do anything. Now it's time to apply the wrap behavior of auto layout feature. You can see here in the demo uh, it is uh, wrapping when we shrink the frame so I did not use it before because uh, I thought you might uh, get uh, confused when you use all the features in the same time and uh, we have done the vertical and horizontal auto layout feature now we will see the wrap feature select the first row and uh, hit this wrap icon on the right hand side similarly select second row and hit the wrap and for third row also hit the wrap icon Now I will go to first row and select the third card. Now I will add the minimum width. Now it is 703 so I will make it 500. The same way go to second card and add a minimum width of 500.
let's see the wrap feature is working or not for the first row yes it is wrapping Now go to second row and select third card. It is 530 so I will add minimum width of 330. The same way the third card and the second card I will give both a minimum width of 330. This will be fixed and align it center let's see if second row is working or not yes you can see how beautifully they are wrapping okay let's do next one now select the third row and make sure it is selected for wrap behavior and select the third card give it a minimum width of 500 second card will be fixed now select the first card and give it a minimum value of 500 all the work has been done now it's time to see if they are working like the demo i had shown you in the beginning awesome they are working perfectly fine At the end, I want to show you one more thing. Here are the images uh, you can see which had a fixed width have some white spaces because we gave them a fixed value, not the field container. So if you want to change the uh, behavior of this and uh, want to fill this white space, we can give them a field container width wise. Let's see now. I have changed the width of these to fill the container. Yes, now white space has gone. Now the cards have filled the spaces. If you shrink it more, you can see it is looking like uh, there is only one column. So I have shown you everything in this video. I hope you liked it and you learned so many things from this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos. Thanks for watching.